Calcium is a chemical element with the symbols Ca and atomic number 20. It is a silvery white metal that is found in nature primarily in the form of minerals such as limestone, marble, and chalk. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the human body and is essential for maintaining strong bones and teeth, as well as proper muscle and nerve function. It plays a critical role in the formation and maintenance of bones and teeth, and it is also required for blood clotting, muscle contraction, and nerve function. In addition, calcium is involved in the regulation of blood pressure, the release of hormones and enzymes, and the communication between cells. The human body cannot produce calcium on its own, so it must be obtained through the diet. Foods that are high in calcium include dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and cheese, as well as leafy green vegetables, nuts, and fortified foods such as orange juice and cereal. Calcium supplements are also available for those who may not be able to get enough calcium from their diet. However, it is important to speak with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen as excessive intake of calcium can have negative effects on the body. It is also important to note that vitamin D is necessary to absorb calcium in the body, so it is important to have adequate vitamin D intake or exposure to sunlight for the body to properly absorb calcium. Calcium can be obtained through a variety of dietary sources. Some of the best sources of calcium include dairy products, milk, yogurt, and cheese are some of the richest sources of calcium. One cup of milk contains about 300 milligrams of calcium, while a cup of yogurt contains around 400 milligrams. Hard cheeses like cheddar and Swiss also contain calcium, with about 200 milligrams per ounce. Leafy green vegetables, spinach, kale, broccoli, and bok choy are all excellent sources of calcium. A cup of cooked kale, for example, contains about 90 milligrams of calcium. Fish with edible bones, such as canned salmon and sardines, are also good sources of calcium. One can of salmon contains around 180 milligrams of calcium. Many foods are fortified with calcium, such as orange juice, cereal, and bread. These foods can be a good option for vegetarians and vegans, who may not consume as much calcium through dairy products. Nuts and seeds such as almonds, sesame seeds, and tahini, sesame paste, contain calcium. Some legumes such as soybeans, white beans and navy beans are also a good source of calcium. It's important to note that the bioavailability of calcium from plant-based sources may be lower than from dairy products. Also, some factors such as oxalates, phytates and tannins in some plant-based sources can interfere with the absorption of calcium. So it's recommended to talk to a healthcare professional to ensure you are getting enough calcium from your diet. Calcium deficiency, also known as hypercalcemia, occurs when the body does not have enough calcium to function properly. Symptoms of calcium deficiency can vary depending on the severity of the deficiency and can range from mild to severe. Some common symptoms of calcium deficiency include Calcium is essential for muscle function, so a deficiency can cause weakness and muscle cramps. Calcium is also important for nerve function, so a deficiency can cause numbness, tingling, and the pins and needles sensation in the fingers and toes. Calcium is necessary for the formation and maintenance of bones, so a deficiency can lead to osteoporosis, a condition in which the bones become brittle and fragile. A deficiency of calcium can also lead to tooth decay. Calcium is important for the health of nails, so a deficiency can cause nails to become brittle and break easily. A deficiency of calcium can cause fatigue. A deficiency of calcium can also cause irritability and mood changes. Calcium plays a role in the sleep cycle, a deficiency can cause insomnia. It is important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by other factors, so it is important to see a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis. It is also important to note that the symptoms of calcium deficiency may not appear until the deficiency has become severe. Therefore, it is important to maintain an adequate intake of calcium through the diet or supplements to avoid these symptoms. Calcium toxicity, also known as hypercalcemia, occurs when there is an excessive amount of calcium in the body. Calcium toxicity is generally caused by overconsumption of calcium supplements or excessive intake of calcium-rich foods. Symptoms of calcium toxicity can include nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, constipation or diarrhea, abdominal pain, fatigue or weakness, confusion and disorientation, deposits of calcium in soft tissues, such as the kidneys and heart, which can lead to kidney stones and heart problems. 
increased thirst and urination. In extreme cases, calcium toxicity can lead to coma and even death. It is important to note that symptoms of calcium toxicity may not appear immediately, and they may not be noticeable until the condition has become severe. Therefore, it is important to maintain an adequate intake of calcium through the diet or supplements, and to avoid excessive intake of calcium in order to prevent calcium toxicity. It is also important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen, as excessive intake of calcium can have negative effects on the body. Moreover, people with certain medical conditions, such as kidney disease, should be extra careful when consuming calcium supplements or high calcium foods, as they may not be able to process and excrete excessive amounts of calcium. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.